what I, I've designed um, assessment tools for recount writing and report writing. So basically I've got the levelling or the national standard level levels for each child, their achievement levels. Um, so in my planning I'll have what's taken out of the curriculum, the Māori curriculum, the Māori national standards. I'll have a set criteria within um, let's say report writing, for report writing, and then I've done um, basically the levels where they should be at for each of the areas of solo taxonomy. We had to use a defined map, so we looked at what is a report. Pretty much all of them were at pre-structural, but two students, two of my students actually weren't at, they were at multi-structural, so they basically knew certain aspects of what a report was. So all I had to do was I took out models within the book, so this assessment tool will have the books that you look in and I've just broken it into sections so they know this is how a report begins and what I need to do to complete a full report and if I haven't completed a full report these are the areas I need to work on. And then we just look at um, the assessment tool for solo and they see okay I know one aspect of report writing so I'll go to this book and then I'll open it up and they'll have a model on the first part of a report on that part that they know, whether it be the title, and then it, I've, all I've done is I've broken it into this group here, this group there, so I'll have my pre-structural examples here, and I'll have my uni and multi-structural um, examples on the other side. And they'll know, okay, that's there, that's there, this is where I need to be at, and this is where I am here, so this is what I need to, these are the steps I need to do. And they'll come up to their assessment tool, the solo assessment tool, and they'll know, okay, can I do this? Can I do that? No, I can't. I need to carry on. And it's just like little baby steps until you get to the next level.